Alright, what's up guys? It's been a while. Um, and I just want to show you guys this really cool unboxing because I'm starting to take my entomology uh, a little seriously now. It's not really just entomology, it's also arachnidology because I've been actually studying spiders too. Not just insects. But anyways, this is an unboxing video for you guys today. Um, this is a package from BioQuip. It came in this box here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I already know what it is. So this is basically an insect um, entomology pinning kit for display as well as um, storage for insects and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to open it up. Here's the box. It's pretty cool. I'll zoom in for you guys. So you can see some of the contents of the box. And this uh, kit is basically for pinning insects as well as studying them and whatnot. Okay, so let's start digging in through here. So first you get how to make an insect collection. It's a little booklet, as you can see here, how to make an insect collection. Uh, opening up, flipping through it, you know, it's giving you lots of information. It's pretty self-explanatory how to make an insect collection, so there you go. We have some forceps here. These are stainless steel forceps. And they come in this nice little sheath, as you can see here. So they're stainless steel with a triangular uh, tip right there, I guess you would call it. But it's really cool how it comes in this nice little sheath. It also says BioQuip on there, so you know it's not generic. It's actually from the company. So they make their own products, which is great. Um, you get a foldable flip out, I guess you could say, pocket magnifier. So here it is. Uh, it works pretty good, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to tell because it's on the camera. So it's going to be up oh, there, it is. So it's got two magnifiers a smaller one and then a larger one. So, and it flips open. Flips open, it flips closed in this plastic case. So it's pretty much a pocket magnifier. Makes it very transportable. Um, they give you this wood block here with uh, slots in it, and basically these are for examining your pinned insects. Um, and you can pin them onto this wood block, I'm assuming. Okay, it looks like we have some vapor tape, which is a type of insect trap for all of those of you who kind of know a little bit. Uh, very important part. These are a packet of BioQuip insect pins. Um, for pinning your insects. So this is size 3 stainless steel 100 pack. So they get even smaller than that. Um, they give you this pen right here which isn't from BioQuip, it's from a different company. But it's a really fine point and it's for making your insect labels so that people can read them, you can read them. But this is a special pen, it can write in very very small text um, because the labels are gonna have to be small too. Looks like here we have two cyanide jars, or two killing jars. It clearly states that it is poison. As you can see there, the sign says poison. Actually says BioQuip on there, which is nice. They're made of glass, so it's pretty fragile material. You can see the pl uh, plaster on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but um, this is some serious stuff. This is actually really good. I'm going to set this down over here with care. Um, here we have some acetate which is your another it clearly states poison again on there and you basically pour this in your killing jar and it turns into a killing jar with this um, for some reason mine doesn't have a lot in it see it barely has any in there I think it might have dried up over the years because I've actually had this for a while now just never really used it or actually I never yeah I actually just got this sent in a while ago but it's probably never been, it's probably never been open for for years and that's why it has dried up. So this is kind of new to this, you know. Uh, these here are kind of a wax paper material envelopes, and I think they're for storing your butterflies. Like when you catch a butterfly, you would put them in these envelopes to get ready to uh, kill them or whatever. Like I said, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look into that. Some styrofoam with this crease in the middle. Basically, this is for pinning insects and preparing them. Um, anything with wings, you'd place their bodies in the middle, spread out their wings, and uh, you'd be able to pin them and place papers on them and have them display as best as you can. Two BioQuip coupons, which I'm pretty sure, yep, they expired. Um, but those, those would have been nice because they're 10% off your entire purchase. 
Um, I believe these papers right here are actually made out of a good material. Um, they say BioQuip on them. And these are your labels, which are printable if you go on their website. So, these are great. And the box itself has kind of a... Let's see if I'll be able to take it out here. Probably not. Anyways, the box itself has uh, styrofoam on the bottom. which It's actually a good styrofoam, which you can use for pinning your insects. And that is it. That is the kit, guys. So you guys should think about buying it on your own. It's a pretty nice kit. Definitely going to use it. I already read the book. And that's how I know what everything is. Um, which is which and whatnot. So it's a great kit. It's about $40. But since I'm a student, it, it's, it was basically free. Um, well, you got to pay for shipping and stuff. So let's put all this stuff back in here. Pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. Hopefully in my videos, you'll see me using it too. I'm going to start making videos again, baby. So, keep uh, keep active, because I know I had a few of you guys who were checking out my videos, and uh, I'm back. I'm older, I've got a little more experience now. My voice has changed, so hopefully you guys could be happy about that. <laughs> um, and this is the video, so thanks for watching, guys. Join me on my other adventures. See you later.